Guys, 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 guys. Multiverses just dropped some more news. Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom. Now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jetters done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yes, after two weeks ago when they finally showed us the new netcode improvement, they're finally ready to show us the new gameplay improvements. Now, before we start the video, let me explain that this is going to be a two-parter. The first part of this video is pretty much going to be a quick explanation of the tweets real quick, just so you know, get that information y'all can leave. Or the people that want to be a little more in-depth, we're going to be looking into the blog um, post that they made and also looking at some dev um, comments that they did in their Discord. So if you want to watch that, continue watching the video, leave a like, and subscribe, guys. All right, now let's get into the video. Perry mechanics, they are high risk, high reward. Get the upper hand if you're precise enough, but if you can't get the jump on your opponent, then they can be punished. It's a fresh way for players to express themselves while keeping the action fast paced and fluid. So for the people that have been begging and asking, yo, we need more defensive mechanics, here you go. You have parries now, and I've been calling this game ever since they showcased the parries, a 30-30, and pretty much that means you're either your opponent's going to attack you, dodge from you, or parry you. So that means 30%, 30%, 30%. That's the gameplay now. And next we have is our existing characters' kits have received tune-ups and some characters will have all new abilities. Every move has been fine-tuned to make them that much more precise and impactful from the hit volume to the timing and to the placement. So this is um, Harley's old bomb. We placed it, it stood still. But now um, Harley bomb is when you stand on it, when you stand on it, when you place it, it goes up slowly interesting so that means a lot of new things are going to be changed not only um if you saw from the old um not the old gameplay but um the netcode video how batman um has a new move when he has when he's on cooldown and then one woman having no cooldown on her whip so a lot of stuff is going to be different a lot of stuff is going to be changed and i can't wait to you know experience what they did and hopefully game still feels like multiverses and possibly even better now we have is dash attacks all new dash attacks have been added to all the characters now you can quickly close distance on your opponent and strike with forward velocity start your combo extend your combo and organically speed up your combat this is dope um again people that felt like there wasn't enough attackings and off offensive um attack buttons now we have possibly more characters having extended attacks or how do i say it more attacks <laughs> Another option when their other attacks are on cooldown and now dash attack. So that's two new offensive um, mechanics into the game. And IG is just chilling, bro. He's just vibing. And then finally, as we all notice, is the character size. You all notice right away, characters seem to be bigger. Numerous players had difficulty tracking characters both in play and while watching. We wanted to improve over clear, um, overall clarity of battle while keeping the same fundamentals. Our game camera is now dy dynamic and we'll pan zoom to provide improved readability, allow quicker reactions and keep things snappy. So this is the old version, how it looks, as you can see, and this is the new version. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Looking at this, the old game, yo, these guys were tiny, bro. Uh, I think, again, I think we're all just getting used to, used to the new size that they are um, showcasing us. And also, I think the camera angle that they're showcasing right here is a better example than the Netco video. I feel like the Netco video, uh, was too close. Hopefully they took that feedback and kind of zoomed it out. As you can see from this picture, this looks 10 times better in my honest opinion. To end it off with is that you can go to the Discord and the devs will talk to you. I believe there's a channel literally called Combat Refracture and you know, et cetera. And then also if you wanna do it on your own timing, you could go to this tweet that will be in the bio or in the comments and you could click on the actual um, link and the link would bring you to the whole blog, which we will be talking about. But again, for the people that just wanted a quick, short message, this is it, and hopefully you enjoyed it. And before I actually end this part off for y'all, uh, I know a lot of people is asking, well, what about the speed? What about the hit pauses and stuff? Uh, we have a, uh, my man right here, Brant, that I pretty much asked about that. Like, what about the different game speed and the ability to fight in the air and et cetera? And Ajax, a dev, pretty much said, we have a very in-depth um, look into answering these exact questions being asked, including comparisons coming very soon. So it looks like we're gonna be getting another vlog very soon, hopefully within a week. Um, if you don't know, when they did the Netco vlog, that was actually two weeks ago from Thursday. And now this is another, you know, Thursday happening. I'm making this video on Friday, I'm a little late. <laughs> but hopefully we can see something next Thursday since we're getting really, really close to the actual release, which is May 28th. But yeah, guys, for, for you, those that are leaving right now, catch y'all later. But for the demons that wanna know more information, let's continue this. Moving on to the dev blogs. And before we start it, like I'm gonna show y'all real quick. As you can see, April 11th, April um, 25th, 
14 days. That was two weeks. So we, I guess we could expect a vlog Thursdays. Like I said, hopefully they could do it next week because we are getting closer to the game. But if not, then expect, I guess, in two weeks to get another update. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to kind of be summarizing it. You know, you could pause the video how you like. And like I said, if you want to go at your own pace and read it on your own timing, the link to this will be in the description. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing they really talk about is about the combat of how they want it to be more rewarding, smart, well-timed, calculated play, still fun, engaging, and fluid. Um, you know, multiverse prioritized combat was flexible and snappy and emphasized the moment to moment combat encounters. And they just want to keep the game fluid, which is W. And they also emphasize right here where they involve the combat priorities, um, giving it more neutral play. And we feel like that these changes um, for our launch will preserve the soul of multiverse combat while involving it in a positive direction. Because you don't know the game was very spammy, you know, dodging and stuff, no whiff recovery and all that stuff. So the fact that we're going to get more neutral play is awesome. And again, you can read more stuff about it, but yeah, it looks like they just want the game to be more fluid and stuff, and that is W. Um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the character size, improving clarity. Um, the reason why they pretty much wanted the characters to be bigger is because a lot of people that were viewers complained. They they truly didn't know what was going on, especially the characters being so small and then projectiles being flown left and right in twos, and there's just so much chaotic control that we just didn't know what was happening um, if you didn't truly play the game. Um, so they wanted more clarity on that. So that's why they did the whole new camera changes. And um, as you can see, as I'm wearing your 1v1 fighting, the camera will zoom in to the closer the action, etc. I think this is a W. But I also think they should go the Brawlhalla route or the 2K route where you can choose your camera. So if you don't know in these games, you can actually choose how you want the camera to be. Whether it be far, close, distance, all this, etc. Different angles and stuff, which is amazing. And it just gives people better perspective how they enjoy it. Um, because I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of zoomed in games. Because again, this game has a lot going on. There's a lot of projectiles. I need a distance to see. Like Everyone has different reaction time on certain things that they can see. Some people react better when stuff is really close. Some people react better when they can see everything going on. And I'm one of those people where I need to be backed up and visually see everything. But I'm like, if some zoomed in right here, my reaction might be a little bit slower. And it probably sounds stupid, but again, everyone's different. So... That's pretty much what that is about. Next we have is the dash attacking. Again, they added a new ability. Um, and then this is the most thing that pointed um, pointed out to me was um, you can also input forward directions twice in quick successful um, use of the dash attack. So that means going right, right real quick and then attacking or left, left real quick and attacking gives you it um, and enables you to use it um, both at a quick attack or a powerful combo ender, which is amazing. Um, again, we saw, what was it? Shaggy, we saw IG now, Wonder Woman, and did we see Batman? We saw Batman, but a lot of people don't know what it was, but pretty much it's his, um, it's his old move, but his um, slide is now his dash attack. But yeah, this is awesome. We're getting more offensive mechanics. This is great. Next we have is the parry timing. So it looks like parrying is built into neutral dodging, but neutral dodging isn't just gone. It's not just, oh, you neutral dodging, you get parried. It looks like parrying is going to be like a time thing where you're going to have to time it to like, I want to say probably the first like five frames or 10 frames, however, you know, long um, dodging is, you know, it's going to be probably like a quarter of it to where you had to get the timing correctly. If not, you're just going to dodge the move and then you're able to attack or get away from your opponent. Um, and yeah, and pretty much uh, from reading this, it definitely looks like it's going to be a risk reward thing where if your opponent doesn't parry right in time or you know tries to neutral dodge and you don't even attack him then there's going to be a wish uh, uh you know a punishing moment where you can you know continue your combo or create a new combo leading into that and i'm gonna actually have more information about this again with the devs actually answering some questions um from the fans and stuff next we have is character kits oh this is my favorite part bro because this means that we're just gonna get new improved things on the characters that already existed and then our newer characters are gonna have new and better stuff too um, and one of the big things I really want to talk about um, is that the Harley box change is cool and stuff, you know, because it goes um, upwards now and stuff. But now this got me thinking, again, we got new changes on um, Batman when he's on cooldown, he's able to throw out a new move. Will Harley be able to do that? Will this not have a cooldown like uh, Wonder Woman's whip? Um, when you reset on the bomb, you get all your abilities still. So can I infinitely go off stage and just bounce off the Jackbox forever and accept... There is just so many questions that I can't wait to be answered on like how these new stuff is going to work or how these old um, stuff with these new um, tuning are going to work now. Um, same with the character timing and all that stuff. There's just there's just so much. My brain is actually just overloading right now. So I'm just going to move on. <laughs> um, and then that was pretty much it. Um, and then they just say that, you know, they're going to keep us updated and stuff. And now it's time to go into the screenshot of the devs answering questions. Because like I told you, um, they even did this back then with the Netcode video. Um, 
And again, y'all got to be very precise on what y'all ask if y'all truly want something answered because if it's not about what they were showcased, they're not going to talk about it. So for example, the Netco video, people were trying to get some gameplay stuff. They were not answering it. But obviously, we got some gameplay um, shit, um, stuff. So now they're talking about some stuff. And let's get straight into it. So the first message that we see um, got answered was someone asked, walk twice being input sounds um like a rip for accidental inputs and hx said we have two options here you have the ability to walk forward until the star bits um appear which will activate the dash attack for forward attack input um as you saw in the first um dev video that they posted the little stars that happens after you walk a certain amount of distance that lets you know like hey you have your dash or you're gonna dash attack if you press your attack button and then the second version is you can also double tap forward as quick uh, as a quicker way to access them. This allows varieties of the user dash attacks and create unique combo scenarios um, for them. So for example, I'm th probably thinking like, um, I think Wonder Woman did it actually, if you saw in the video, um, in the NHL video, where she does Nair and actually does her um, grounded, her, 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 you know, her dash attack pretty much. Next we have Isn't the Cat answering ABR3. Does parry have end lag? It does. So if you miss a parry, it can be punished for it. Pretty much what I said before parrying um your neutral dodging has like a delay if you don't you know get the parry you're gonna get punished for it next we have is ajax um answering minty does parry use standima and if it does how much parrying is one of the six pips it looks like they're gonna use pips as like the little bars um for the dodge meter um in the dodge meter it is activated with neutral dodge and if you hit someone after you gain some meter back based on your punish okay so it only takes one um so pretty much it's like normal dodging as long as you dodge you know directional or neutral it is one bar and i'm assuming that's the same thing with parrying as he just said it's just one pip <laughs> next we have his ajax answering jack can we still forward tilt out of a dash i'm confused as how the dash attack works is it there's a specific button for it ajax said yes there's two ways for it to work and it gives actually more information how this works um you have 15 frames before dash attack is activated again just your distance of going or you know frames of walking so apparently it's 15 frames so if you know how to time that correctly there you go you could do you can get your dash attack perfect every time um you can also use a dodge boosted attack which carries your momentum forward as a fast burst we showed this in the batman clip let me show you out here right now and you know he showcases it that and that is that's pretty dope next we have nakat just blatantly saying if you parry a multi it um parries the character immediately so for those of y'all think we had to do some street fighter you know parry every goddamn multi hit nope once you parry it off rip you know it catches them and then they're stunned next we have ajax answering smalls i don't know if you're allowed to answer this but generally speaking would you guys say that there is more or less restriction on what moves can be dodge boosted slash cancel out of and he goes on saying dodge boosting moves will have very changing based on what the move is based um what is balanced it um this way someone like aria with a sword doesn't fly across the screen with an active hitbox i'm assuming He's talking about Nair, or could he be talking about Dagger? Actually, no, he said Sword, so he's probably not talking about Dagger. Um, but someone with a short-range jab combo um, could close the gap. We have a more in-depth combo on this on a particular very soon. So again, we're going to get more information about stuff like this down the line. They're just not ready to discuss it yet because they're probably still tuning it to themselves. And yeah, next we have Nakat and Ajax asking Gusta is that is regular neutral dodge completely replaced by parrying? Nah, you can still have neutral dodge. The parry only activates in the right timing. So again, pretty much what I said before, your first your first few reigns of neutral dodging is your parry window. But then after that is just a normal dodge, which is pretty dope. Uh, next we have Ajax talking about ABR again. This is another one. I'm not sure if you're allowed to answer. Um, have moves staling been changed in any way? It felt like kind of weird that some characters' main combo tools will stale the same speed. So if you don't know what staling is, it's called the tacticate. When you hit someone doing the same move, I think over three times, um, it's tacticate where you do less damage and way less knockback. And this is what HX had to say. Yes, this was a very big um to address. You know, you no longer. I think he forgot to know. You no longer will see tacticate appear, and it will naturally stale, but not kill combos anymore. This is very important for us to address, and feels much better. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I actually do enjoy Tactic A. The reason why I do enjoy Tactic A is I just hate spamming in any game. So I feel like doing the same action over and over. Yes, I get the argument that maybe that is the best option, but it's like some characters have BS moves. <laughs> That's not fair that you get to just keep throwing out the big BS move because I have less, you know, resources. So I guess we'll have to see how it is. And also from the netcode video, it did seem like that. Obviously, I wasn't watching too hard to see um tactic a but usually in multiverses you kind of still hit it because again you try to throw out your best moves and you don't really count every move you throw out so yeah i definitely noticed that tactic a wasn't there anymore and we're just gonna have to see how it naturally decays but it does look like if you have strong killing moves which is 
I'm assuming like deer and stuff, you will never have to worry about it not killing. It will always kill no matter what. And then the final one that we got is the can't answer in Gusta again. Wait, so you cannot punish a parry? You definitely can. Remember, it is tied to a neutral dodge. And all you have to do is wait for the dodge to be over and hit them. So again, pretty much it's the same thing like I said. And that was all the answers that I got, at least from the time of me, um, I think what, within the first hour or two of them talking, this is all I got. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Comment about anything, comment your thoughts on the gameplay and everything that y'all have seen, questions that y'all also have that I could, I mean, I can't answer it, but I could give y'all my thoughts. <laughs> and if it's your first time you're watching my videos and you do enjoy Multiverses content, and hit subscribe button guys because we're going crazy this year. Catch you later guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA because she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.